Tracy Grimshaw is one of Australia's most notable journalists, most recognised for her 17-year-long stint as the host of A Current Affair. But despite her acclaim, no one was expecting her to make an appearance in Harry Meghan, the documentary series about the Duke and Duchess of Sussex that just debuted on Netflix. In the third episode of the new docuseries, Tracy's voice can be heard and has obviously been taken from a news report she did at the time of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's wedding. Watch, the original A Current Affair clip that was then featured in Harry Meghan, article continues below video, some of the bride's family don't know yet if they'll be invited to Windsor Castle, including Meghan's half-sister, Samantha Markle, who's made plenty of her own headlines in the lead-up to the The Royal Wedding, Tracy can be heard saying over a montage of tweets and front covers of various tabloids that feature Meghan. The episode of Harry Meghan then cuts to Meghan explaining how the media sought out anyone and everyone remotely related to her so they could report salacious stories about her. They were going through the woodwork and pulling out people to create and plant the most salacious stories that they could, Meghan says. The voice clip of Tracy has been taken from an episode of A Current Affair that aired in Australia on February 5, 2018 three months before Harry and Meghan tied the knot. The episode featured an exclusive interview with Samantha Markle and in it, Meghan's half-sister said that she was disappointed that Meghan didn't help their father monetarily and that she would attend Harry and Meghan's wedding if she was invited. Ultimately, Samantha wasn't present at the royal wedding, the entire Harry Meghan docuseries takes aim at the media, which is why Tracy's voice and the voice of numerous other notable journalists can be heard throughout the series. From the very first episode the focus is very much on the negative scrutiny and attention the press has on Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's mental health. The couple revealed that soon after stepping down from the royal family, they decided to do video diaries to document the experience and in Harry's words document all the misinformation. The opening episode also touched on Harry's views on how his mother was treated by the press, plus his memories on growing up with every moment documented by the media. Harry's own memories of the late Princess Diana were overtaken by the intense attention the family received. I feel like all of the UK media just descended upon Toronto, my house was surrounded. Just men sitting in their cars all the time, waiting for me to just do anything. Harry, I just felt completely helpless, it was scary, says Meghan. My face and my life were everywhere tabloids took over my life. This article originally appeared at newidea.com.au.